hey guys my name is vivek sharma and today we can cover this another interesting problem that's called the closest binary search tree value and this is the extension of the earlier problem that uh, we already discussed in another another video so if you did not get a chance to look at that then get a look to that video as well because this is just the extension right so in that earlier basically it was asking just the closest value of the binary search tree value uh, in the binary search tree but in this case we have to get those values so for example if the case 2 then i have to return 4 and 3 right in this particular case so in this particular case the closest value to 3.7 is 4 3 so let's try to build it here for 3 and then this is 5 and let's say my target is 3.7 and k equals to 2 so and let's uh, see 1 here as well and if k equals to 2 then definitely i have to get the two values so which are the two values that are closest to the 3.7 this is 1 and this is 2 this is first value and second value so 3 and 4 right and how we are planning to solve this problem basically this is the binary search tree so uh, we can either use the binary search tree property that's one idea and uh, another idea might be if we don't want to use the binary search tree property like if we don't want to go left and right uh, we can use the binary in order traversal as well right and in order traversal is nothing but it will give you the sorted list so sorted list means like if i do the in order traversal of this particular tree then my in order traversal will become one three four five right so this will be my list right and what i can do in this list basically while building this list basically so while building one three four five what i can do i can just quickly check the same thing that i was checking for the uh, closest uh, binary search tree value for example i can just check like 3.7 and minus one so 3.7 minus one whatever the value let's say i am having x value right and three, then i can just check like 3.7 uh, minus three so this is y value right and I can just check like if x is less than by or greater than by similarly that I was doing it earlier when I say earlier means the in the different problem I mean the same problem but it's the uh, closest to find the closest value right so if uh, this uh, if this by is less than basically then basically I need to keep the by keep the by means I need to keep 3 but I, I need to get rid of x so if the difference is less than means I need to keep that value and the other value I need to get rid of. So let's say this case is 2. So definitely I need uh, I need to fill uh, I need to get the at least two elements in my list right. So let's do this. So let's try to erase this one and let's try to think about the implementation part. So let's say uh, for the in order traversal I get 1 and the next thing I get 3. And the next thing what I will get is 4 right so once my list is already having two elements now I need to decide whichever element I need to remove so that I can put another eligible element right so my list so list is nothing but it's Q right so if it is Q and the next uh, the, the top element is 1 in this case right so I will check if 1 is eligible or 4 is eligible so I will just compare with this and this right because next incoming element is 4 right so 3.7 minus 1 or 3.7 3.7 minus 4 so this uh, the difference between these two is lesser than the one right so what I will do I will just remove one from here right Oops. so I will just go ahead and remove the one from here right and now my list is having 3 and the next element in the in order traversal will be coming as 4 so i will just insert as 4 right and now the next element is 5 so i will check the same thing like uh, 4 minus 3.7 or 3.7 minus 4 i can just take the absolute value to ignore the sign and the same thing is 5 and difference between 5 and 3.7 so whichever is lesser i have already the lesser value is already there in the queue so 3 and 4 so I don't need to remove anything. So this is the required result. So this is the same approach we can follow while building our algorithm. 
uh, to follow the in order traversal and just using the list and just remove from the list in case needed in case needed is if incoming root value is lesser uh, is the mo more eligible uh, target more eligible result then basically we can just remove from the list otherwise we don't need to remove from the list so let's quickly try to convert the same thought in our code right so let's do this in order private void in order and uh, let's say this is root double target int k okay and because we are using in order traversal so definitely we can use uh, recursion basically to easily implement this in order traversal is nothing but we will just go left and then root and then right right so this is typical in order traversal okay and let's see if we are already having our so let's take this as a linked list because this is kind of the queue implementation we are taking and let's say this is result right let me change the alignment little bit so earlier the font was little lesser but now i increase the font to for the better visibility so let's add in the list okay so this is typical in order and nothing else right and now what we want to check here we want to check if res start size if it reaches already to k right if it already reached to the k then i need to remove and how will i remove i will just check if my target minus root dot well in case if it is less than right target minus res so this root is nothing but it's the incoming right it's the next incoming root and res that's already it's in my list right so this is nothing but it's basically the peak so peak is nothing but in this case it is one that we discussed here right this one thing and then three and then res peak will be three in if, if we want to see that what is the peak right so three is the peak and four is this because this is q first in first out if this is the case then go ahead and remove from result if we did not find if we, if, if we are thinking that incoming root value will not be lesser uh, value basically uh, in comparison of the current list then we don't need to remove right then in that case we will just go ahead and return okay so this is list and then I need to add here another bracket okay so list time populating here and in the next iteration it will be checking this list size basically so that's what i need to do right and then let's fill this guy here root target k right and then basically let's create link list and this is having integer re as equals to new link list okay and the same link list we will be passing here let's res let's quickly check for the compilation error okay so there's a couple of compilation error in order cannot be applied to the given types okay so we need to fill the parameter here let's do that quickly target k and res the same thing we need to do it here for the right target k res let's see those errors are gone so it's four and five so this is not the correct result because we are just uh, checking for this and then the result should be four and three so let's uh, see what are the bugs here so if uh, okay so the potential bug is basically we need to use the math.abs and the reason to do that because uh, we want to ignore the 
sign and if we don't ignore the sign then that might uh, cause the error right so if, if for example if i'm not if i'm considering minus as well then basically four and five is might be the result because uh, uh, i'm considering the sign right so basically uh, target minus result and target minus this this will be the negative so negative will be the lesser value and i don't want to do that right so this abs math that abs will ignore the sign so let's go ahead and see that if that is helping us and uh, if that is helping sometimes it's pretty slow so in the meanwhile we can just check this diagram and if we are doing the same thing here so the same implementation that we discussed here we are just trying to uh, uh, apply it here right so uh, output is this expected is this and they already told that order does not matter so i think we should be good here let's try to submit this guy and uh, okay so this is working as expected so if we analyze the time complexity and space complexity so what will be the time complexity this will be the order of n and a space complexity will be the order of log n so it's time complexity order of n because uh, we are iterating for every node here right and uh, space complexity this is my mistake this is not log n because we are taking the additional list and it's uh, uh, we are just uh, uh, having the all the elements right so either we can k we can take k and plus y k because we are storing only the k elements so k is 2 then basically the time comp space complexity will be k and basically the plus log n as well so i think uh, mm, this will be the total space complexity but uh, if we if we analyze like the approx space complexity then it will be the k itself right so that k will dominate the log thing right and uh, let it be k is given value so always uh, always the linear time complexity will dominate the log logarithm uh, complexity so that's why the approx complexity will be the k depending on but uh, yeah right if if we don't have to maintain this list then it might be log n but in this case basically because we are we are maintaining this list itself so it will be the uh, the number of k basically the number of elements it will be persisting so that will be the space complexity so i hope this video was useful and thanks a lot to get in touch here have a good one bye